there are even larger megastorms, storms on the scale of whole galaxies. And these vast storms may be the reason any of us are here. The Hubble Space Telescope captured this stunning image of the galaxy NGC 3079. At its center, a superwind, a storm on a truly cosmic scale. It was triggered by an explosion from a forming star. This raging galactic storm is about 3,000 light years wide. It has already raged for around one million years. Filaments of 20 million degree gas tower above the spiral galaxy. This cosmic megastorm wreaks havoc within its host galaxy. We see bubbles and jets and formations of gas falling into the galaxy, colliding with galactic dust. The gas from the galactic megastorm smashes into gas and dust at the heart of the galaxy and compresses it into a swirling mass of matter. Gravity takes over. The compressed clouds of gas and dust get tighter and tighter. The center gets hotter and hotter. Finally, it ignites. Powerful winds from the new star blast into space. The whole cycle begins over again, and a new galactic megastorm is born. Around the fledgling stars, dust and rock come together. The birth of new worlds with rocky surfaces where life could begin. And perhaps a formation of life itself may be determined by how these gases swirl and create super galactic storms. And if you have galactic winds churning away, then that would help to distribute the elements necessary for life throughout the galaxy. So galactic storms may in some sense be one clue to the formation of life itself.